you all very much. Uh, my name is William Close, and I'm here with Mr. Rich Sherwood and Thomas York, and we've traveled here from uh, Los Angeles, and are really excited to be here in Singapore uh, at the Night Festival. What an amazing city and an amazing festival. Tonight, the uh, earth harp here is uh, resting on the stage, and the strings are going up and attaching into the architecture of the National Museum. Wow. Um, actually tying right into the roof line up there and actually using the museum to create the instrument. So technically tonight, the National Museum is a musical instrument, which is always a good thing. Woo! Yeah, yeah. how about it? All right. It's a beautiful museum in there for a beautiful country. The, uh, the way I play this instrument is I have uh, cotton gloves with violin rosin on them and I run my hands along the strings. It produces what's called a compression wave. It's the same principle as running your finger around the edge of a wine glass by pushing the vibration in the strings. It's a purely acoustic instrument. There are just two microphones in it, and this is the actual sound. No computers or anything, I promise. It's tuned with these tuning blocks. The further back the block is, the lower the pitch. So this would be the highest note here. And as I go down the scale, you'll notice the blocks get further and further away. And the pitch gets lower and lower. Down to my low G, which is right here. Now you'll notice that there's strings on the outside that I don't play. These are what are referred to as sympathetic strings. So when I'm actually playing the other strings, these outside strings are set into a state of vibration. Just through the act of playing these, uh, there, there are a lot of instruments that use this, like sitars and pianos actually do it, a lot of different instruments. But it's kind of a cool thing, but even though I'm not playing those strings, you guys are actually hearing them, which is interesting. Uh, well, the reason I titled the instrument Earth Harp is when I first invented it, I mounted these chambers, similar to these, on one side of a valley, and I ran the strings 300 meters 300 meters across to the other side, turning that valley into a giant harp, the world's first earth harp. And uh, now I have the, uh, the honor of cruising around the planet and um, stringing it to amazing buildings and uh, concert halls and such. Anyway, I'm gonna start talking and play a little more music. I think we're, are we doing Moonlight? <laughs> 